Hello friends, my name is GameSyke and today I'm here to show you how to make Twitch emotes and Twitch uh, sub badges using a program called GIMP. Uh, I'm using GIMP 2.10.6 as you can see up here in the upper left hand corner. GIMP is basically like Adobe Photoshop but it's free and it yeah, lacks some features but who cares, it's cheap, it's easy, it's straightforward. Let's pull it up. Now. GIMP, yay, 2.10, hooray. All right, so we've got our uh, GIMP interface, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to open up a picture I have just for this purpose. Uh, let's see, is that it? Nope, that, that, ah, here it is. Okay, open this beast. Now, sometimes you get this little pop-up. Do you want to keep the image colors as they are? Do you want to convert them? I keep them. I don't see a reason why not to. All right. So now we're going to make this Rubik's Cube into a sub badge. Same exact process for emotes, just different sizes. You'll need to double check that your uh, pixel sizes are accurate as you go through, or Twitch will yell at you and you won't know why. Uh, yeah. So as we get started here, we're going to come over here. Now we have our picture. We're going to come over here to our free select tool. And you can be as careful or not as you'd like to be. Just keep in mind these are going to be really tiny. And so. We don't have to be too particular. Boop. And boop. There you go. Now, we've outlined it, but before we do anything else to it, before doing anything else, we need to make it so that if we mess up or if we cut things out of here, that it goes to a transparent background. We want to enable that first. But in order to enable that, we have to pull up a um, our layers uh, toolbox over here. But since GIMP usually doesn't pull that up, when you, as soon as you start it, I'm going to show you how to do that too. Go to Windows. Go to uh, Dockable Dialogs. Go to Layers. Boom, there she is. All right, now I'm going to come down here. We're going to find, there it is, there it is. All right, I'm going to right click the image. And you're going to go down to alpha channel right there. So now when I uh, do stuff, it'll go to a transparent background. All right, it's outlined. We have transparent background going, alpha, whatever. And now that we're going to click on our little scissors to get ready to cut it out. To cut it out, I'm going to press control X and there it goes. It's gone. Bye bye. All right. But <laughs> Never you fear, never you fear. We're going to put it back. We're going to hit Control V now. And you'll see it's over here. It's floating. It's just sort of drifting off. Right click that and go to New Layer. Boom. Now you can just simply click the eye, hide the other stuff, and we have our picture. Sweet. All right. So now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our. Uh, oh, you know, before we do Square Tool, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. We need to scale this beast. Let's scale it down. Now, if you do this just straight out, and I think. I want to say the largest size of sub badge is 76, 75, 74, 3, 2, 1. Uh, I don't remember. So let's just go in here. Let's go to my Twitch channel. Uh, let's open it up. Let's go down to dashboard. Let's go over to affiliate partner. Let's go into loyalty badges. And the largest size is, in fact, 72. So let's do a six month uh, for 72. All right. So 72. Now, if I just throw in, whoa, I don't want you, I want you. Uh, if I just throw in 72, boop, boop, enter, it changes the width. Adjusting the height changes the width, uh, and vice versa. Twitch will not accept this. Twitch will say, sorry, you can't save it, and it won't tell you why, and you'll spend an hour on Google trying to figure it out, so I'm saving you lots of time right here. Just break the link, change that to a two, hit scale, and there you go. All right, now, now going over to our rectangle tool, as we zoom in, we're going to throw this up in the, whoop, I missed. I'm a little picky about, there it is, there it is. I'm a little picky about my squares. Come on, you can do it. Got it. All right, now that we've got that highlighted, we're going to go to image. We're going to go into crop to selected. Boom. There she goes. It's already the right size. And now file, export as. Let's give it an interesting name. Let's call it something right there. <laughs> One from earlier I, I looked at. So we're going to export it to something. Yes, I'm going to replace it. Remember that? Don't worry about any of this stuff either. Just hit export. And there it is. But now, now we want to be careful because and it's going in here. Here's, here's the thing we just did. And we're going to go into something. We're going to look at the properties. Yeah. So we have 27 and 28 kilobytes. See, the thing is, Twitch only accepts them if they are 25 kilobytes or less. So we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking. And the way we're going to do that, moving that out of the way, is we're going to use Microsoft Word. Word to the rescue. Oops, I don't want page setup. Get out of here. All right, bringing back our pictures, we're going to drag our something we just had. Boop, on in there. 
and then we're going to click on it. Let's go to Format, go to Compress, say Yes, Compress, right click it, and save as picture. And I'm going to do the, oh yeah, and it's going to be like, where do you want to save it? And then they're like, same place I had it, guys. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to save it as something else, .png. Everything needs to be saved as a PNG. Get rid of that. Um, don't save. Get rid of that nonsense. All right. So now, when we go back in, we go back in here. So we have something, something else. And if we look at properties for something else, we'll see that it is well within the limits now. All right. So now we need to upload it, right? All right. Get that out of here. And let's go over to there. We go our Twitch channel. Upload 72 by 72. Ha ha ha. That's great. I didn't cover that up. All right. Something else. <laughs> Open up something else and it fits. Do you want to do the rest of them too real quick? We can do that. Go back over to GIMP. Boom. This is our 72 uh, pixel image. So we're going to go back over here to the right. It's going to scale layer. We're going to make sure the chain is broken. And the next one is, what was it? It was 36 and then 18. So here we go. Pull this over. Do 30, oops, 36, 36, scale, same exact process again. Scale it down, make your box, image, crop to select, selection, file, whoa, export as, I'm gonna export it as uh, something, oh, what was the file size? Uh, 36, something 36. Something 36. Boom. Export. Export. Great. That's done. And double checking that it is a PNG, and it is. And then we're going to do the last one too. Scale down to. Oh, great. My memory is just not what it used to be. Something 18. All right. So scale it down to something 18. 18. There we go. Scale. Same exact process. Here we go, image, crop, file, export, something, 18, export, export, done. Now, pulling back up our Twitch channel, 36, let's see, 36, open, 18, open, save changes, save, boom. You're done. That's all there is to it, using GIMP. We do make sure you have the file, the uh, copyright of the video, of the pictures you're using, just in case. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Game Psych. I stream on Twitch nearly every single day, and uh, I will see you guys there. Bye bye. Shut up and sit down.